sit back, relax, and just close your eyes. In a few moments, you're going to be more relaxed than you've ever known yourself to be. I'm going to mention certain parts of your body, and as I do, I want you to just feel that part begin to relax. Just feel that part just begin to relax. In order to help you relax, I want you to imagine yourself in a wonderfully magical forest. It's almost nighttime. The sky is a beautiful indigo blue. The stars are coming out and the moon is lighting up the rich forest trees. Off in the distance, you hear the hypnotic sounds of a bubbling brook, and the crickets seem to be lulling you to sleep. And as you lie motionless, you begin noticing a wonderfully white light just above the crown of your head. This white light is the most relaxing light you've ever seen. And as it begins to lower around the crown of your head, you seem to be touched with a desire and a willingness to relax deeper and deeper with every breath you take. Continuing to lower now, it begins to touch the forehead as it does, I want you to feel all the little frown lines and all the little worry lines in the forehead just seem to disappear. The forehead smooths out, feels so relaxed, and you feel this relaxing light coming down around the eyes. And now the eyelids seem to become very very heavy. So heavy, they don't even seem to want to open. They may flutter a bit, and that's okay. Just feel how heavy they are. And as the relaxation comes down around the facial muscles, all the little muscles in the facial area just begin to relax. The relaxation comes further down around the mouth now. And all of the hundreds of little muscles around the mouth just start to relax. So much so that the lower jawbone becomes heavy teeth part. The mouth may even open up a little bit with the relaxation as you continue deeper and deeper relaxed. Feel this relaxation now around the lower jawbone and behind the ears so that all of the little nerve endings behind the ears just seem to relax as you continue deeper and deeper and even deeper. The relaxation goes to the back of the neck now, down around the shoulders. So much tension seems to go to the shoulders, but now you feel the shoulders just begin to relax. You can even feel them drop a little. This relaxation seems to go to the backbone now. And as it goes down the spinal column, seems to go out to the sides 
so that every muscle, every nerve, and every fiber in the back just seems to relax. The relaxation seems to come now to the small of the back and down around the bottom. This warm sense of relaxation comes to the back of the thighs now. Into the hollow of the knee. Around the calf of the leg. Down around the heel. To the bottom of the foot. And each and every toe just relaxes more and more and even more as you go deeper deeper and even deeper calm very peaceful and very very relaxed and now if necessary Allow yourself to shift your body however you need to in order to become even more comfortable and even more and more relaxed. That's right. We're going to proceed to relax the rest of you now. Starting with the throat muscles. Feel the throat muscles just start to relax. The relaxation comes down the fronts of the shoulders, down the upper arm, over the elbow, down into the forearm. finger just relaxes more and more and even more as you go deeper deeper and deeper relaxed just relaxing doing so very, very well now, as you continue to relax. Feel the relaxation now coming back to the throat muscles, down into the chest, and all the muscles and organs within the chest now just begin to relax. And this relaxation continues down into the stomach area. And all the muscles and organs within the stomach just seem to relax as well. And this warm sensation of relaxation goes down into the thighs, over the knees, down into the shin bone, across the instep of the foot, and into the foot itself, and each and every toe just relaxes more and more and more as you go deeper and deeper relax deeper 
you continue even deeper and deeper calm. Very peaceful. Very, very relaxed. And I want you to imagine yourself standing in this forest. And at the base of the feet is a beautiful stone stairway that leads downward to a very safe valley of relaxation. This staircase will lead you into a profound state of deep, deep hypnosis, opening up the subconscious mind to the wonderful changes you'll be making in your life. We're going to go down these stairs now. And as I count backwards from 10 to 0, each number will take you deeper, deeper, and even deeper. Ten. Take that first step. number you'll enter this beautiful place of peace and tranquility called deep deep hypnosis more relaxed and peaceful than you've ever known yourself to be Zero. As you go even deeper now, I want you to imagine yourself on a wonderfully natural, perfectly green pathway. It's incredibly peaceful and tranquil. All of the shades of green are vibrant and alive. You're carrying a small satchel over your shoulder and enjoying the scenery. As you look around, feeling the breeze on your skin, you notice that all of your favorite flowers are growing next to the pathway. The breeze begins carrying the sweet smell of these flowers to your nose as the sun warms your skin. You feel an incredible sense of of calm coming over you. As you make your way to the top of a small hill, you 
notice a majestic gate spanning across the trail, between the trees. Immediately you sense there's someone very important on the other side of this gate. As you approach the gate, it begins to open outward, and inside you see a small table with two chairs. One chair is empty, and in the other chair is your loved one. As you approach the table, they greet you as their face lights up. They haven't seen you in some time, and they've got some very important things to tell you. Some unfinished business. And I know you have some, too. Sit at the table with them. Tell them how happy you are to see them one final time. There are some things you want to say. Some things that were left unfinished. Some things that have been on your mind. What are those things you wanted to say but didn't get the chance? Tell them now. This is your opportunity to clear your mind and let them know. Feel free to say as much as you'd like. Let them know you love them. Take all the time you need in the next 30 seconds to finish up those things that you want to say. Now they have some final things to tell you as well. Let them talk. Let them say everything they needed to say that they didn't get to say before they left.
their voice. Clear as can be. See the look on their face. Feel their presence. And they take the next 30 seconds to tell you everything that they need to say. Everything that you need to hear. As you stand, give them one final hug goodbye. And as you do, you notice for the first time that they are bound to the chair with chains. They cannot get up from the chair. For you see, your eternal love for this person, coupled with the intense sense of loss, has kept them bound to this world. In order for them to really grow and progress to whatever is next, they need to be set free. And you do too. I want you to repeat the following three phrases. First, I acknowledge that they passed on, and I feel sad. I acknowledge that they passed on, and I feel sad. Next, I feel sad that they died. I feel sad that they died. And finally, I did everything I could under the circumstances to make them feel better. I did everything I could under the circumstances to make them feel better. Now reach into your satchel you find an ornate scepter with a hilt made of carved metal and a large glowing jewel at the end. The scepter is not of this world. It's powered by your love and it has the ability to break the bond that's holding this person back. Take the scepter and touch it to the chains that hold them watch as they fall to the ground. Immediately they are free and they begin floating to their feet. With one final embrace they tell you they love you and they're so excited to grow. Tell them you love them too. As they turn and begin walking up the trail into the mist, you know it's time for you to go too. In releasing them, you've also released yourself to live your life to the fullest in a way that honors them and that would make them happy. You make your way down the trail as the gates close behind you, thinking about how bright 
your future looks now. And remember that you are a whole, total, and complete person. There is no void. There is no need. There's nothing to be filled. This evening when you go to bed and sleep, upon putting your head on your pillow, you go into a deeper, more restful, more sound sleep than at any other time before in your life. And if there's anything that's unresolved between you and that person, it will be worked out in the dream state. When you awaken in the morning, it'll be with a renewed sense of strength and vitality in your body. Your mind will be clear and alert and your energy level high. In a moment, I'm gonna count from one to five and at the count of five, your eyes will open, your mind becomes clear and alert your body well rested and refreshed as if after a brief nap. You'll feel better than you have in a very long time because there will be incredible, beautiful feelings moving through your mind. It's important to remember to forget the things you don't need to remember. And you'll only remember as much as your unconscious believes is useful for your conscious to know matter how little you remember consciously. As I count from one to five, you'll experience a warm, tingling sensation as an indication that something useful has taken place. One, mind, body, and spirit totally and completely integrated. Two, feeling the energy flow out to the hands and feet. Three, feeling that energy get stronger now. Four, starting to breathe deeper and deeper. Starting to move and shift now. Taking a deep breath with a sigh. And five, eyes open, wide aware, feeling wonderful. 